So we're going to look at adding the developer options tab to Excel. I'm in Excel here in the home button and I'm going to click on options down the bottom left here and customize ribbon here. So customize ribbon. And over here I can see the developer tab is not ticked. So I'll click the developer tab and I will click OK. Now we can see here I have the developer tab. So I have my quarterly sales budget here. Q1 2020 is 75,000 and we're increasing it by 2% each time, each quarter. So there's my uh, percent. So 2%, 2%, 2%. So each time we're increasing it by 2%. So I want somebody else to have access to this spreadsheet. I don't want them changing numbers or touching formulas. So I'm going to give them a button. So if we go to developer, and I click insert and under form controls, I can see the spin button. So we'll draw that nice and big here. So that's my spin button. I'm gonna right click on that and click format control. And it says cell link. So I'm gonna to link to F2 and hit the button. Uh, the incremental change is one. The maximum value is 100 and the current value is 20. Minimum value is fine at zero. So we'll click OK on that. And I'm going to click away from the button and you can see the lines have gone from around it. So now let's test it. And when I click up, our percentage increase goes up by 0.1. So how we achieved that was we reference back to F2 and divide it by 10. The reason I've done that is the, um, the form control will not manage decimals. So if I click down, our sales percentage increases by 0.1 of a percentage. And up, our sales percentage increases by 0.1 of a percent, back to two. Um, to make that look a little bit better, we can hide this side of the sheet so you can't see what I've done with F2, which just makes it look a little bit neater. Uh, we could also lock this sheet and leave the button free if we're giving the sheet to somebody else, and they can just use the buttons to change the budget, and they won't mess up our formulas.